video is brought to you by Let's Synthesize Academy, the number one place for practice-oriented courses for serious music producers. Hey, Dan Larson here. Welcome to the new Synthesize Sunday episode. And today I want to show you how to make jump up drum and bass in Vital like this. <laughs> If you want to download this clip, check my Patreon, but if you want to dig deeper into production, check my Academy for Awesome Start to Finish courses, but right now let's jump into it. Hey, before we get going, let me encourage you to drop a comment and like this video if you want to win one course from my Academy. Alright, so these are the bases. And I have a sub bass. So I cheated because I have a step that is a sample that I didn't make, but you know, I was just not able to find a very good replacement for this little shot. I just so love it. It fits so well to the groove, so all together, I love it. Let's go through the basses one by one. This is the first vital bass. Very heavy and very nice. I love it, but you know, to be fair, this is how it sounds coming out purely from vital. Mm, not bad, not bad, but with some extra fuzz and EQ and saturation, it really comes to life. So, I, so as you can see, I use a utility tool to pull back the width and some extra gain that plays really well with the pedal, you know, the more input. You know, I could have used the gain knob, but I felt that using the utility is more comfortable for me. And I had to tweak the EQ a lot because, you know, we don't want to have the low end the mid bass was a little too much this kind of sound so i had to tame this frequency and some cuts in the mid and a boost on the highs and a saturator to the end with the soft clip turned on with extra two decibels of saturation to you know making it a little louder Okay, let's see the vital reset. I have this sauce for days, whatever. It's a factory wavetable. And actually, as you can see, there's not too much going on. I'm not even using unison voices, but in the effects, I had a chorus. I have a chorus, a distortion with a post low pass filter turned on, another filter, an EQ where I chopped off the lows and added even more highs. Let me show you without the effects, okay? It is, I think, a little better. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, so a chorus with lots of voices. As you can see, 16 voices I have. Distortion. EQ is to chop off the lows and tame those weird frequencies and adding a little boost on the tops. It is still weird, but with a bandpass filter, everything comes to life, it's so cool. So I added a compressor, an OTT, and basically this is all. LE41 controls everything basically here, the bandpass movement and lots of other stuff. And I have another LE4 to control the reverb mix because as you can see I'm using a reverb and a phaser too. Because I wanted to have a little more reverb at the end of the sound. So this is why I use this thing. So when the modulation goes down, the reverb goes up. It's a wah wah kind of sound on the reverb. So anyway, this is the main sound. I think it's really cool. And I made another one. It's a little weird kind of phasey thing, but again, it's very cool and it's basically just a modulation of the previous one. This is on itself, but with some extra pedal, fast distortion and EQ and saturation. It's so cool. Let's go to Vital again. I use the Corp blub phaser whatever, it's a factory wavetable and I FM modulated it with a sine wave one octave higher and on the modulator, so on oscillator 2, I used ring modulation from oscillator 3 with a basic shape again but with some form scale warping mode. So without them, hmm, it can be an interesting sound too. Alright, so without the bandpass feeder. Let's go to the FX. Let me turn them all off. As I can see, it's basically almost the same. Four voices of choruses, a phaser. 
distortion, a notch feeder, a flanger to add some squeak to the sound, and the compressor that balances the whole sound. Okay, I have two LDFOs as you can see, controlling lots of stuff. The difference between them is not too much, basically just a ramp. Okay, so this is the second one, and we have this little sample stab. I love it. And the third one is really cool again. Very aggressive kind of thing. And again, here are the effects that makes it really, really cool. Haha, <laughs> so an extra pedal, an OTT to again balance the whole sound with the distortion, a saturator, and an EQ to make everything sounding fine and comfortable. Okay, so I have a sub for it, which is a little pointless because I caught everything in the group and added a separate sub. But you know, during producing stuff, you make decisions that you regret later. But never mind, it is cool. Uh, let's check the vital preset. We have the drink the juice wavetable that is frequency modulated by a saw wave on a really high synchronization value, so it's very high in pitch. And I think we don't need oscillator 3. <laughs> I have a BPN at basically just a huge peak that transforms back and forth from a peak to a bandpass fader that is so cool. It reduces that squeaky sound, squeaky sound, and it's very simple in the effects. I have a distortion and the EQ. Anyway, I have LE41 that controls everything basically, and LE42 controls the FM. LD43 is a weird thing. And LD43 is a weird thing that controls the wavetable position. Two separate waveforms. One for the aggressive part and second for the squeaky part that I filtered. Okay, and I have this sound. That is a resampling version of these sounds. I mean, this bass sound. Let me show it to you. This is the version. This is the thing that I cranked up to one octave higher with a texture mode on. So it is so cool because as you increase the grain size, you can create very weird glitches and I still love it. By the way, on its original note, it is still weird if you use a texture mode. Anyway, so this is the sound, but all together, it's just so cool, plays really well with the original bass sound. And the sub is a very simple thing, just one vital with... This is the sidechain, by the way. <laughs> it's just a saw with the drive mode turned on, so it's really high with the drive. And another distortion with the low pass feeder. And this is all here for the sub, it's very... It's very heavily distorted, it almost sounds like a square, but on the waveform you can see that it differs from a square wave. Okay, this was it, and now let's see who won the comment and like contest. Peace.